Greetings YouTube. Today I'd like to take a look at the Benchmade 710. Now this is the only Benchmade blade that I own um, and it is quite a nice design but I've come to the conclusion it really doesn't meet some of my personal EDC needs. Um, it has the uh, two position pocket clip tip up uh, so you get right hand or left hand uh, carry options. Because this uses the axis lock here, it is a truly ambidextrous blade in every way, shape, or form. So that's a really nice feature. I will freely admit that. Um, its thumb stud is quite usable. Um, though you can, of course, do the pushing the axis lock and flicking it open that way. Um, I'm not smooth at that. I apologize. The blade shape is, I'll admit, is very lovely. This very subtle recurve in there. This nice swedge up at the top brings it to a very nice point. Um, look at that finish on there, it's beautiful. And there's the, the uh, famous butterfly. It is a Mc, uh, yeah, McHenry and Williams design made from D2 steel. So it's very good edge retention, good quality stuff. They're gonna have to you know keep an eye on rust and such. It has uh, G10 scales which have some nice ridges on them, which I find both attractive and useful. And there's some jipping on here, which is a nice little thumb rest, which is quite nice. Um, but after purchasing it, and I was very happy to have it in my collection, I came to the conclusion it's just it's just more knife than I need. Uh, it's, it's not a, a size blade that I really want anymore. If you hold it in my hand like this, you can see how much bigger this is than my palm is, and I've really come to the conclusion that I need a blade that's approximately the same width as my palm. Uh, but it is very pretty, um, it's very nice quality. Uh, I, the craftsmanship, the overall design, um, it is very well executed, and I'm glad I own it. Uh, it does have a, uh, a lanyard hole, and I think that lanyard hole is big enough for 550 paracord. You may have to be a little squozing on that one, but you'll, you'll get in there. Um, it has closed construction, which I'll admit is not my preference. I prefer pillar construction because I think it, is, it makes it easier to keep a blade clean. You're not less likely to get you know dust and grit and grime. Uh, sp particularly in a, in, a, in a knife that's got D2 steel, I think you really want to keep air and flowing through there, and it helps cut down on moisture, but that's just me. Uh, but it is a nice blade, uh, and I think that People who like a larger blade than I do would very much enjoy this. It's smooth, it's attractive, and it's a nice cutter. I've used this at work. Uh, and I think that it was uh, definitely an excellent addition to my collection and uh, a beautiful blade in and of itself.